It has been quite a while since our last Ethercast episode. Let me show what I've been working on lately. I've been building a Ethereum uh, slot machine dApp. Um, so looking at uh, slot machines, I found this uh, this little game by uh, Clint uh, Ballinger called Karma Slots. It's a JavaScript application, so you can play it. Um, you bet on how many uh, lines you want to play, and it increases your or decreases your Karma score uh, accordingly. Quite a fun thing, and uh, the nice thing is that it is uh, fully open source, so you can find the uh, the code on his uh, GitHub repository. What I did, I ported this to Ethereum. Uh, the game logic has been ported to an uh, Ethereum contract written in, uh, in Serpent. And I've also created the, the, the user interface, or actually I've taken this user interface and made it ready to communicate with the, the Ethereum uh, client and talk to the contract. Uh, let me show you. So this in this demo, I'm using my regular web browser because both the Mist Ethereum client and LF0 client have been a bit unstable. Hopefully that will be resolved pretty soon and you can uh, play these dApps from within your uh, Ethereum client directly. To connect to Ethereum I'm running a Ethereum node. I'm starting the Ethereum, the command line Ethereum client with the minus J option which runs the, the JSON RPC uh, service. All right, my uh, my node is running. I've also created a command line tool part of this uh, Slath slot machine contract, which lets you uh, talk to Ethereum node and inspect what is uh, going on. Um, so let's see if I can connect Ethereum. Yeah, so I can connect my Ethereum node. It's actually connected to the network. I have some blocks available. I have some Ether already mined. Um, and using this client, there's several options. You can use it to, to create a new slot machine contract, inspect the contract, and also play the game from the from the command line. This is uh, good for, for debugging purposes, but of course it's much more fun to use the, the web interface. So let's uh, let's play some uh, some Slath. Going to the to the web interface, I have to paste the, the address of the contract. This is where I've deployed the slot machine contract. Let's play some slots. Right, you're seeing the Slath uh, interface. It's connecting to the to the network. Uh, you see how many Ethereum blocks I have. Um, this is my current account, and I have a balance of uh, 253 Ether, which uh, translates to 253 coins. Now I can place a bet. Um, I can bet on one line, three line, or uh, five lines. And if you want to know all the details in payout, you can uh, look at the payout table, which explains the possible lines and the payout results. Gonna bet on uh, five lines. now communicating to the Ethereum client and getting the results and yeah on uh, line one I won uh, six coins. Here at the bottom you can see the, the results of the last round, the block number where it got mined, uh, when did this happened, what my bet was and what the result was, also the, the entropy that was being used and the, the random results for the slot machine real positions. Here where it says you won six, you notice there is this verified label, and this means that the results that are reported by the uh, by the contracts match the ones that are calculated by the user interface. You know that you're not being cheated. Okay, let's play again. Sometimes it takes a bit longer to get a result because you uh, you need to wait till the blocks get mined. Wow, I'm very lucky today. Please check out the, the GitHub repository and um, let me know what you think. Mm -hmm.